back again hit you with a video now this video right here comes straight out of some arcade somewhere where you have this badass kid yes let me start it off right start it on fire well you have this badass kid basically running the muck in a damn shop he's like a bull in a damn uh china, china store you feel me i ain't talking about a store in china i'm talking about where they sell expensive ass uh plates and merchandise antiques and stuff he's like a bull in there crashing over everything just disrespecting everybody now the first thing that came to my mind when I seen the video, where the hell his parents at? And we see this, vi we see these types of videos all the time on social media, especially in Chuck E. Cheese. You know, Chuck E. Cheese. When I was a little younger, Chuck E. Cheese was a place to go where you didn't have to worry about fighting, you didn't have to worry about nobody stealing your pizza, you didn't have to worry about uh, gangs and, and stuff. Now you turn on Chuck E. Cheese, you have grown ass people celebrating their birthdays up in Chuck E. Cheese. You have a three year old right here got balloons and cake. For his party, which is natural. That's what that what should be in Chuck E. Cheese. Then you have a 19, 20 year old over here celebrating their birthday up in Chuck E. Cheese. Grown ass people with beer bottles and every damn thing else. Even though they don't don't bring the beer in, they put it in the styrofoam cups for those who want to know. But anyway, the first thing crossed my mind when I seen this video, and I'm sure yours. Where are his parents at? It's like the parents were sitting in the back waiting for somebody to tell their child something. And if you a parent that's like that. You need your butt kick, and I'm going to tell you the reason why, because if you see your child doing something, remember, that's your child, that's your responsibility, and whatever that child do, it's on you. So if you see your child doing what this child right here was doing, running, jumping over turnstiles, taking people balls and stuff, and throwing it through the machine, all up on the machine, just tearing up people's stuff, and they let this go on for minutes after minutes, you cannot tell me that that boy, mom, was there, or 
a, a dad was there. You feel me? Somebody was there. The damn show wasn't both of them together. And I'm not trying to be stereotypical. I'm not trying to be racist. But let me tell you something. Any decent father, I'm talking to the men right now. Any decent father out there would have snatched their son up, would have snatched the, what, what we used to call uh, a nod in their ass, if you will, would have snatched a nod in his ass and told him to sit his little ass down somewhere and corrected him. But, you know, where was the parents at? Who was he there with? Did the little joker just walk from his house all the way down there just to start that mess? And you should have seen the people trying to pull the little kid to the side. And guess what this little bastard do? Oh, yes, with that little bastard. Guess what he does? He turn around and spits in grown folks' face. Now, if somebody would have popped the hell out that child, you know, a lot of people say, well, you don't put your hands on, on, on somebody else's kid. The hell you don't. You let one of them spit in your face and watch how bad you want to knock all the nine later juice out their mouth. Knock all the doggone uh, sweet tart juice out their damn mouth. You feel me? Let one of them spit on you and you're going to be tasting old, old uh, elementary school food and stuff. That stuff that you used to eat 20, 30 years ago. You don't want that taste in your mouth. So... For people to sit up there and say, well, uh, nobody better not hit, hit that child. And I'm sure that whoever the parent was in there, whoever the mammy was in there, because that's not a mom in there, and whoever the pappy was, because there's not a dad in there. Because I'm going to tell you something. The child, the boy couldn't have been no more than maybe, what, four or five years old. You do not take your child to a public setting and leave your child on his own to run amok and, and uh, be very disobedient and disturb everybody else. Disturb they happiness just because you ain't took your time to raise this little bastard right. And see, that's the problem right there. People don't want nobody to tell them nothing about their children until their children wind up killing somebody else. Until they wind up being uh, uh, four, five, six baby mamas or wind up in prison somewhere or wind up trying to kill your ass because we yes, we do stories like those all the time where the children grow up to whip the parents ass you know but just because you want your child to be disobedient you think that's cute like a lot of people probably was laughing like ha 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 look at him he's having such a good time no the hell he's not he know he knows exactly what he's doing this the same type of little bastard that will sit up here and, and uh pissing your damn drink while you in the bathtub you know what i'm saying while you going to take a bath like if you leave your uh, lemonade or your sprite right there on the uh the uh, the dining room table. He he the type to go over there and pull this little thing out and pee right in your drink and everything and then stand up there and wait for you to come out and drink it. You talking about Damn, this very salty and lemony today. He's standing over there just having a ball laughing. And you like little, little Tyrone, what the hell you laughing at? He laughing at your ass drink, drinking that uh that uh that extra mix, if you will, that special bling he done put together for you. But on the real though. See, this is the problem that we have in this country more and more today. We have the parents that's loose as, as hell, like T.D. Jake said, woman that are loose. We have we have parents that are loose. We have the women out of order. We have the men out of order. And it's quite naturally what's going to follow. The children is going to be out of order. Example A right here, this little bastard running up and down the damn thing, you know, spitting about four, five grown people face. I bet all of them was mad. But you know what? If he would have spit in the right one face, and y'all can say what y'all want to say, somebody would have popped the hell out of him. Probably would have slapped him upside his head or popped him right on his ass. I would prefer a pop on the ass. You feel me? But you don't know what you would do with somebody spit on your face. That's like somebody throwing shit on you. You feel me? So you can say what you want to say. You know, I know what I would have done. I would have popped the hell out of him and, 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 and through that setup and be ready for the pappy to run in on a, on a mama too. You know, because if you're going to let your child do this, oh, I might well just call the police then and we could just settle all this because I don't want to be labeled a uh, uh, woman beater or a child beater. So we just we just let uh, Officer Charlie deal with it. And if he pull up and gun your child down, then what? If the child was to reach back and throw a ball at him and he tased the damn child, then what? You see, it's so many things that can go wrong with videos like this. You feel me? Because even the employees try to come get the child to settle him down. And not one single time did the parents or anybody that knew this child came and got him and disciplined his little ass. And that's the problem right there because if you, if you spare the rod, you spoil the child. And that's why these kids growing up getting on y'all damn nerves. That's why they 19, 25 years old, 30 years old, still living in your house with no job, driving your car or a car that you bought him or him or her, laying on your couch with two or three babies in your house because you didn't teach these little bastards was real from the jump. And that's what you got to do. Sometimes you got to do like my uh, grandfather used to say. Uh, what was that? Oh, yeah. Put your foot up their ass. Sometimes you got to put your foot up their ass. And it might be two people going to the hospital, the child and you going to get your foot out the child's ass. That's what you got to do sometimes. Let me tell you something. You can let these kids run over you, but I ain't going to let them run over me. I'm going to be that old man knocking the hell out of them. And if, and if anybody else want to come along 
they can get it too you feel me like uh that's just the way it is three's company you feel me hey we can make a uh, souffle with this but anyway let me know what you all think about this crazy ass video right here and also whoever this whoever this child is can we please can we please get Dr. Phil or somebody, some, I mean, excuse me, or somebody, we don't need Bobby Brown to go talk to him, you know, Bobby, Bobby might have that child tripping out, but anyway, we need to get Dr. Phil or somebody, we need to call Iyanla Van Zant. you know what I'm saying, and tell her, can she come fix this little boy life, because he definitely needs some type of help, you feel me, let me know what you all think about that right there, if you like the video, push that like button, and if you know anybody got bad ass kids, and you tell them, look girl, or boy, um, or the guy, whatever, you know, you don't call no grown man, boy, but you know how we talk, you like, look, you, you need to discipline your child, they don't want to discipline, send them the video right here, and tell them just watch to the end, if you will, anyway, y'all stay blessed, you like the video, push that like button, if you like, subscribe, to next time, I'm out, and when them kids get out of line, let me tell you something, put something on their ass, so they gonna grow up and put something on your ass, you can hate it or love it, but it's the truth, I'm out.